dear good morning to you all my dear students so here i am going to discuss about something which is quite natural that is questions in our mind we always have questions in our mind our mind is always stuck up with lot and lot many questions and i am sure at your tender age on which you are you are always stuck up with many of the questions that how it happened and why it happened and when it happened isn't it uh, let's take a very general example that is somewhere when your mother cooks a very yummy food at home so in that case even you go to your mother you praise about that meal and then you ask at mother how have you cooked this food you want to know at how that meal was prepared and somewhere if we go far above these questions so then you keep on asking about uh, many things to your teacher even that how it happened why the uh, you know wheel moves round and round and then uh, many uh, questions you keep on asking your teachers even and to your science teachers you have lot many questions isn't it you have even you know a store house of questions always for the teachers and uh, if we even think more about these questions so somewhere in the minds of we even grown up human beings we think about the things that as in how this earth has been originated how we are able to breathe in the environment how we are living isn't it how we are you know taking size and from where this oxygen is coming right and then uh, what is the source of uh, all the things of all the entities and from where these things have been originated and and from where we have been originated and from where the rivers around us the seas around us the oceans around us and the other natural process which are going on in day to day's life have originated and now uh, the answers somewhere more or less we don't get and but still as in we uh, always kept on getting this thing that we have been originated from the monkeys that we have developed our bodies from the monkeys and those are our ancestors but still the questions are there in our mind about our ancestors even that how were our forefathers of forefathers that is uh, the very first generation which was you know uh, which came into existence on the earth how was that kind of uh, development and how the animals came into existence and who came first all those questions stuck our mind always and the main very basic question which come uh, which came first the hen the chicken or the egg right so these questions keep on disturbing us all the times so our today's poem even is related to such kind of questions so here the title of the poem itself is questions so definitely we have uh, received the idea that what uh, should be there in the poem all the questions are there in the poem let's read out what kind of questions we get in this poem first of all let me introduce you the poem that it is uh, written by julia donaldson who was a american poet poetess and uh, she wrote uh, all she always took up the philosophical topics in her poetry right so here again she has covered up one more philosophical topic as which i already have introduced it so now let's see what kind of question her poem 
let's read out the poem carefully and find out the things how who can say how how did we travel from then until now galaxies hurled and hurtled apart how in the world did the whole thing start was there a bang how long ago does anyone anywhere really no why who can say why why did the dinosaur dynasty die why should a beast whose part was colossal give up the ghost and turn into fossil give us a clue why was it so does anyone anywhere really know when who can say when when did our ancestors turn into men swinging about in the family tree when did they start to look something like me heavy weight brain when did you grow does anyone anywhere really know who who can say who who can unravel a riddle or two melting the ice unwinding the clocks who will take the lid off the mystery box where do we come from and where do we go and who can say who is in charge of the show does anyone anywhere really know so this was our poem by julia donaldson and uh, didn't you follow the very nice rhyming scheme here in the poem did you observe i really enjoyed uh, reading this poem reciting this poem right uh you should also recite the poem and uh, get the happiness of reciting the poem while i was reciting the poem i was you know directly getting connected to the questions those were even coming to my mind but still i am unable to get the answers of this these questions so let's read the poem again by stanza wise then i'll be explaining you it uh, uh, by and stanza to stanza right so let's read out the first stanza how who can say how how did we travel from then until now so now here at the starting the question is how that how everything traveled can anyone guess the answer or can anyone tell us or can anyone put it on the a uh, question that how did we travel from that past to this present time how were the things how were the things changing from that past where the people were eating raw vegetables and that uh, you know leaves and all that so now here what is the scene we have junk foods and all that definitely there might have been lot many changes so these kind of questions are coming into the mind of poetess so here she might have not been getting the answers for these questions so that is why she has put these questions in the form of this poetry and here definitely these questions might be giving you even more interest to be involved in the poem so here next let's read out galaxies hurled and hurtled apart how in the world where did the whole thing start so now here the question again is there about the galaxies that how the galaxies started working and how these galaxies even came into existence that is not only these galaxies she is confused about rather she is confused about everything whatsoever is there in the world from where did it start that is she wants to know the origin of the things right so then what uh, what is her next question was there a bang how long ago does anyone any where really 
no so now she is quite confused she feels that there might be a bang at that time that is there might not be any light there might be some kind of explosion some kind of bomb blast at that time by bang it uh, here she means that there might have been some explosion explosion of some kind and but again she is uh, find trying to find out that how long ago it happened how long ago the explosion must have happened and we have traveled here to this time and then again the question which is there in her mind which is just uh, making her more curious to know about that is there anyone who can just give the answers of these questions so by writing this kind of poetry she is you know putting her question to the to uh, a large number of people so that she can get her answers and then next let's move on to the next stanza why who can say why why did the dinosaur din uh, dynasty die so now here the next question which is disturbing her mind or where she is quite curious to know about that why did the dynasty of dinosaur escaped from the earth as we all know that there were the existence of dinosaurs as we get to you know get this uh, material in the history that somewhere they uh, existed on the earth but nowadays we are not able to find dinosaurs on the earth so now here she is trying to find out that why they died they had lots of powers in them so how could they die even and then she again is confused that who can say this why who can give me the answer of this why why should a beast whose power was colossal give up the ghost and turn into fossil so now here she is curious to know about that if this dinosaur was too huge was like uh, i mean quite huge four footed animal who had lot of uh, parts in uh, it and then uh, why it died why it turned into fossil why its ashes or its you know remaining parts uh, got only into existence from where we got to know that somewhere it existed on the earth why those are not into existence at this present even so this is again is you know uh, putting more curiousness in her mind to get the answer of this that uh, how the huge power is escaped from this earth and then uh, and she is also confused about the ghost why the ghost turned into fossil by those deadly man who uh, i mean who are thought to be existed on the earth at the in the ancient times so why they even had been turned into fossil they even had been turned into their ashes give us a clue why was it so does anyone anywhere really know so now again she is focusing on it that a clue should be given to her or to every one of us so that uh, so that we are able to get the clear answer of our questions and then again she is focusing that is there anyone who really knows the answer of these questions right so now move on to the third paragraph that is now earlier we talked about how and then later in the second stanza we talked about why so now here we are talking about when so now here she is uh, curious about knowing when all these things happened so now when who can say when 
when did our ancestors turn into men how beautiful rhyming scheme it is isn't it when who can say when when did our ancestors turn into men as we have always been getting these things that we have been turned from the monkeys so then our ancestors are monkeys so how and when after that how so now she is coming into when when our ancestors changed into men as in we are here right swinging about in the family tree when did they start to look something like me so now when we see our family tree you must have observed a chart in the uh, subject social studies therein you see the evolvement of man so therein you see that the man was like exactly like a monkey and slowly and slowly it get changed into a man as in as we are here in the present status so then she uh, is confused that when that family tree was into that stage and after that how it uh, changed into our present state so what were the timings of all those phases all those states in the human beings evolvement right so again this question is disturbing her so then next heavy weight brain when did you grow does anyone anywhere really know so now she says that heavy weight brain that is we have uh, the capacity of our brain is too huge so then now how this brain got this capacity earlier in the ancient time it is uh, thought that the people were uh, the people were not having this thinking part so how and when we get this part of thinking more and more that is generation by generation the thinking part the thought process is getting even more developed right as in our parents we even our developed form of our parents that is we have more brains we think more logically rather than being emotionally as our ancestors and then uh, you even at uh, the young generation even are more uh, logical than us so that is how this brain and when this brain getting even more uh, developed day by day so can anyone give me this idea when did it happen who can say who who can unravel a riddle or two so now again she is coming on the question who earlier she talked about how then later why and then after that when and now she is turning up her questions to who so then she says that who can solve the riddle or two that is who can unfold the riddle unfold the hidden realities right so then melting the ice unbending the clocks who will take the lid off the mystery box so now again she is quite curious to know about that who will unfold the realities unfold the matters unfold the evolvement of the life on this earth and who will talk about these processes like melting of the uh, ice that why it happens how it happens who will give me the answers and unwinding the clocks that how the clock works who will take the lid of the mystery box that is who is going to open the a secret behind all these hidden realities where do we come from and where do we go and who can say who is in charge of the show does anyone anywhere really know so now again she is ending up her poem with the beautiful lines that is 
where do we come from she is by the end even confused with the same question that from where the existence of human being started and then where will we reach in the future and then uh, she says that who is the in charge behind it that is she wants to know that what is this supreme power behind all the show which is moving on this earth as in it is a movie show kind of whatever is going on in the on the earth isn't it a movie show kind of because you know the situation here today is of covid 19 was it uh, ever expected by the human beings not at all so who is behind all these uh, things who is you know controlling all the things all the processes of the earth and uh, who can even control even do you feel that there is any supreme power behind all such things i do feel uh, that there is a supreme power behind all such things we you know kept on uh, playing with our nature so finally our uh, nature even is taking revenge in this way of uh, that this covid 19 virus so what i feel there is a very big supreme power which even Uh, this julia donaldson wants to know that who is the supreme power behind the curtain right with this i finish up today's class we'll be doing the next lesson in our next class if you have any doubts any queries you can connect me anytime thank you